grapes? Hmm. Can you point at something pink? Oh, I love it. Come on, you can do it. Come on and point at something orange. run white and black across my nose and down my back. What is black and white stripes? Aha! Shout it out loud if you know what this is. Yes, it's a zebra! Let's look at the next clue. When I am scared, I bleat out loud. My wool is fluffy as a cloud. Ooh, what animal looks like a cloud? It's a sheep! Look how fluffy it is! Bah! Bah! Just one more clue. Here it is. When I am happy, my tail wiggles. If I lick your hand, I'm sure you will giggle. Here it is. Oh, it's a puppy dog. Arf, arf. I wonder if there's anything else in here. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Searching for lots of animals, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Yes, we are. I found so many fun animals in this box. All the different animals are fun. Hoo, hoo. But God made something even more amazing. It's true. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta-da! <laughs> Puppy Pals Cupcakes. They're for my friend Carrie the dog walker. Carrie loves all kinds of dogs. Speaking of dogs, that reminds me of our story today. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. We learned that God made fish and birds, but God wasn't done yet. On day six, God made, this is really cool, God made all the animals. <laughs> God made giraffes and elephants and penguins and bunnies and cows and snakes and sheep and lions and sloths and llamas and so many more animals. 
When you look at all the fish and the birds and the animals God made, you see just how creative and loving God is. But God still wasn't done yet. On day six, God also made his most special creation. Drum roll, please. God made people. <laughs> God made the first man named Adam and the first woman named Eve. God told Adam and Eve to eat the fruit from the trees in the garden and to watch over all of the animals. God saw all that he had made and he said, that's good. Everyone say, that's good with me. That's good. Actually, this time, after God made people, when God looked at all that he had made, he said, that's very good. Say that with me, that's very good. Okay, let's see if we can remember what God made on all the days. On day one, God made light and dark. On day two, God made sky over water. On day three, God made land, plants, and sea. On day four, God made sun, moon, and stars. On day five, God made fish and birds. And on day six, God made animals and people. Great job! Let's say all the things God made one more time. Ready, go! Day one, light and dark. Day two, sky over water. Day three, land, plants, and sea. Day four, sun, moon, and stars. Day five, fish and birds. Day six, animals and people. God made everything and it was very good. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made all the animals, and then God made people too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. God made all the animals, then God made his most amazing creation. People! We are God's most awesome creation. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Oh, there's one more clue. The card says I need to empty the box to see God's most amazing creation. <sighs> it's a mirror! I can see me in the mirror. So I'm God's most amazing creation. And so are you. Remember that every time you look in the mirror. Bye! And it was very good. Genesis 131. God saw everything he had made. And it was very good. Genesis 131.